This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. I cannot be the only one that's been in need of the whole holiday, Christmas, New Year, outfit, hair, vibe, inspiration, you know? I think my issue generally lies with party wear. I'm just not like the typical, like I don't like the typical stuff people wear. Like, I don't know, I just struggle with party wear. I struggle with party wear a lot. I did cave um, and I got myself an outfit that I feel like would be really appropriate for like an alternative, but still I think very festive. A kind of sultry outfit. I haven't shopped in Zara in many, many a moons and I will say this was a moment of weakness, but I am excited to open it guys. I am journey of uh, seeing if my new year's outfit is going to be a disastrous fail or not. Honestly, I've just been bored of everything and if this doesn't work out, there is no plan B. But off the bat, we got some nice textures. God, look at this fabric. A whimsical cloud. Oh, this bra is super beautiful. This is meant to be part of the look as well. Stick with me. Okay, so this is not the top, but it's another top that I had put in the order just because I'm kind of just bored of everything in my closet. And I find pieces like this are really handy for going out. Like I like a sheer moment. I'm caught on this bra is ridiculous. Oh, please fit. The organza is a very, very funny fabric because it has absolutely no stretch. This looks like bioluminescence. This is my bioluminescence top, guys. Okay, this is the cargo pants. I also bought them a size up because I wanted to wear them more on the hip. I know people are kind of over cargo pants, but they're in this satin fabric, which kind of just made me feel like they're the, my everyday pants, but in a night out version. I kind of love. What do you think? Are we on to a winner? I feel like this is not quite a look for my hometown, but I am going to be spending New Year's in London and this is giving kind of New York fashion party in my mind. Oh my God, there's gonna be so many people that hate this, I bet. Girls that get it, get it. Getting a lot of love about the makeup looks on Instagram though, so be good practice because I have this thing where I think makeup and hair and the outfit is gonna be right in my head and then I do it and it's not right. So you know what, we might as well go full practice run. I feel like you're gonna to wanna to see it. All of the faffing, the makeup, the hair, we have lost all light. I didn't do tutorial, but this is kind of a recreation of the makeup I did for Christy's birthday last week. I wore that really nice like girls night out, all black outfit from last week's vlog from Meow. Let me tell you, that was the first time I've done full beat, full hair, and a really great outfit and forever i just like don't get done up that much especially in new york and i also don't go out in manhattan the most hilarious part of that story was i spent all that time getting ready putting on all this eyeshadow got off the l train at first avenue because there's like no direct train to christie's in kind of like dime square area so i was just like it's fine i'll hop out and i'll get an uber the rest of the way you know like preserve the hair preserve the makeup you know i was running late i could not get an uber for the life of me so i ended up getting a city bike just picture that for a second like most girls full hair and makeup in the uber on your way to your friends on your way to dinner not a problem me me i'm cycling as fast as i can towards west broadway but you know what i got there and my makeup actually stayed preserved is this recording yeah i'm not really great at talking and doing makeup at the same time on the vlog doing it on tiktok or doing it on reels a little less daunting but i will show you this part which is like my favorite part it's this urban decay glam rock glitter liner but i just kind of use it as more of a like a topper but it's so beautiful i've just found i've been trying a lot of glitter eyeshadows but they don't really have the same effect as dotting on the little individual pieces of glitter like look at them they look like little stars let me zoom in mm, isn't that so pretty but i've been trying to just lay them individually and not cluster them too much Kind of get a few up in here as well, but this makeup photographed is so, so pretty. Did I do some down here? I think I did. Well, I am now. But like, isn't that just the prettiest disco ball makeup ever? So this is kind of with both eyes done. I really threw up my hair as well. I didn't do full gel. I just kind of wanted to give you the effect of what I'm going for, but I actually kind of like it. Also in a moment of weakness, when I was in Sephora, I bought Velour Lashes. Do you remember that brand? I bought the, like, the lightest ones I could find and I chopped them in half on water edge just for like a soft wing enhancement because there's no actual wing in this. It's all, it's all smoky eye. So in theory, this could be the potential look. I'm still undecided about the top. Like I haven't put the tags off yet. I'm gonna sleep on it. The only thing about it that annoys me is the, that the sleeves are short. I just wish they were like longer and flowy. Like that's the only gripe about it. And I haven't decided if it's so much of a gripe that I can't get over it. But I was thinking about how I'd style 
this top and I feel like it would look so cute as a textural layer and I feel like my my outfits have been so flat in terms of layered textures and layered fabrics and I feel like if I just put a square necked tank top so pretty to kind of have a fabric like this lay underneath it what do we think are we a fan oh my god this eyeshadow I can't get over it I can't get over it because I am a multitasking content creator pro I'm actually gonna go take a reel of this now Morning. We're doing a cutesy, cutesy dootsy today, guys. I feel like I haven't worn a little outfit like this in a while. I love how everyone's tying their cardigans up the top. Just a cute little Everlane one with a cropped t shirt underneath. These Levi's, which have not been getting much love lately, but they're a vintage pair that I have that are mid rise, so I don't really wear them that often. But I think they're perfect for this look, and they do fit me really well. Like, they're just the perfect straight leg mid-rise Levi's. So small in the camera screen, I can't even see myself, but um, shoes, my little trusty Amy Leandor. Wow, that was aggressive. I'm a bit basic today, but you know what? That's okay. Of a little unexpected shoe combo. You happen to be new here, or you just haven't come back in a while. Don't judge what I'm about to say next. I swear I have more substance as a New York content creator, but I am heading to a coffee shop that I haven't tried before. It's the weekend, guys, it's the weekend. I'm gonna go meet a friend but it's a really cool spot in Greenpoint that I've been meaning to check out for ages and any of my like fellow interior enthusiasts, I think you're gonna appreciate it. So let's just go, shall we? Coming for these bad boys. We're gonna go for an electric one today because I've never tried one. So I think I told you guys this before, but this is only my like third ever city bike ride, which is hilarious because I've been living here for seven years. I can bike. I've never quite had the best insurance. And you know, I'm all for preventative measures when it comes to keeping yourself out of the hospital. It's never too late, you know? Okay, so would not recommend without sunglasses. God, the pedal boost. That was exhilarating. In Greenpoint now, fucking cute. It's in kind of a funny spot, but I think I'm here. The very start of my uh, New York vlog of my life playlist. I used to just explore places and go to new places all the time. Back, I'm in sweatpants because jeans are just, they're done. They're done for the day, retired. I've actually been out for hours. Like, where does the time go? I felt like I was in Berlin, you know, and I dressed so basic today. I was nearly annoyed at myself. Lesson learned, if you're in New York, just make the effort, just wear a nice outfit because I'm confident anyway, but there's just nothing like the confidence of it's better to overdress than underdress. In love with the latte glasses at that coffee shop. I happen to be in the market for glasses just like that. So I'm gonna unbox them because I've been waiting to unbox them for this vlog and I feel like this is the perfect time. For a very specific style because as you know, I'm an ice latte girl. It's a big part of the vlog. It's a big part of my daily enjoyment. And you know what? Romanticizing your life sometimes looks like getting a new favorite glass. So we're not expensive at all. I've never shopped at Crate and Barrel before, but I was kind of shocked. Very affordable. <gasps> they're nicer than the ones I was looking for. Oh, they're called a highball. They're 15 ounce glass. I know it sounds really weird. <laughs> I feel like when you're like into this stuff, it's like the little details, you know, like the fact that the 
the glass goes right down to the edge. This is perfect. The highball size is like a little taller than a like a double whiskey glass. Oh, stunning. Tip, if you've one of these like robot vacuums, like I've had mine for three, four years now, and it starts to like not run on a full cycle anymore. Like it'll go around and just start beeping and everything else is okay. You've cleaned everything else. It's not full, it's not tangled. Chances are it just needs a new battery and they're actually really, really simple to replace. You just unclip them. I also like love this. This is a side of me that I feel like people don't see, but I love fixing things. I thought I'd mention it in case any of you do have these just to not throw them away. They're not broken. So my dad's Christmas present came. He's so hard to buy for. He doesn't even care about Christmas anyway, but I obviously still like to get him something. I don't think I got him anything last year. However, I did get him maybe the best present of his life. My dad is a cozy, comfy dad and he's always cold. Got him a heated hoodie. Comes with a full battery pack. I know it sounds like a hazard of some kind and it has like heat pads on the front and on the back. Best idea ever work on counter for Chanel. They fully spent like a day training us on how to wrap presents. If you're shopping at your local Chanel counter, know that all of the edges have been like meticulously folded. There's nothing rough showing. Show you how to measure it so you use the exact amount of paper, like no waste and like the exact amount of ribbon to cover like the dimensions of what you're wrapping. Be nice to those girls. They have to speed wrap with a line going around the side of the counter, down through the store. GHD curling the ribbon is always my favorite bit. But look how well that fits. That was unplanned. I'm gonna fill that up with something and the card and then look, this literally fits perfectly on top. I can't cope. I'm also posting presents from his parents because it was easier for me to send it from here and send it all in one go. So yeah, he's not gonna be home for Christmas. So he's getting extra presents. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Here, look at this outfit. She's hot, she, yeah, your tag is out, but it's good. Sarah. Renee, okay, where's the outfit from? Um, Boots Ascenso. Yes, very cute. Uh, this is from Sarah. Yeah. I love it, it matches your boots perfectly. Yeah, because you're coordinated, yeah, girly. This is, um, Princess Polly. Mm. And I don't know where everything else is. Um, the dark hair. Can it we have a moment? It it was, she said accident. it was an accident. I think she did it on purpose. No, I wanted like a little bit darker for my birthday. No, sorry, pause this yeah, because okay. we have to tell everyone the story about this. Okay. I seem to only have chaotic friends. I was sick of my hair because it was like blonde-ish and my hair hadn't been done for like seven months in Australia. And like I need to get my roots redone regularly so it looks fresh because it's like blonde and bleached, whatever. So I, Maintenance. So I bought this hair gloss that I saw on TikTok. And I was like, it's a gloss, it's fine, it's just brown, it's a chocolate brown. It's a washout. It's a washout. Moment. And then I put it on. What does she do? And then I like, I think I left it on for like too long as well, because it was like a 10 minute gloss. Yeah. But it was on for like 30 minutes. And then my hair was like black. And like I tried to wash it out and it didn't wash out. So um. And then she looked at the box and realized it was permanent. Leave it off. Get my contour. Yeah, there we go. If you see me with unrubbed in contour, I know you did it. We've had a very productive day despite the very gloomy weather. I think Christy shot, how many outfits did you do? Two? Mm -hmm. Two, I did one here and I'm about to um, shoot this outside. I've got like a chunky cable knit, which you never see me in. It's the only one I own because I just, it's chunky and it's just driving me crazy. And this also reminded me I need to buy a black or like thrift a black version of a men's blazer. But yeah, I'm wearing these cute little, Steve Madden, like Mary Janey platforms. Um, and I basically built this look around my new handbag that I really want to shoot. But can we get a moment for the makeup? Kind of going like scary, scary grungy fashion girl. And we're rolling with it. Yeah. All right, don't I, I do regret not getting it. I know, like back. she thinks she's being like the healthy queen over here. She didn't, she thought it was like a whole cauliflower. And it's not. I was just like, get the cauliflower, get the cauliflower. It's so good. And she didn't. Um, but it's fine. We'll share. But we got crispy potatoes.
You should see the chaos in front of me because I just did like a get ready with me for TikTok. But what I'm here to show you guys is how freaking adorable I look with my little scarf hood. Cozy, she's cute. I feel like a TikTok content day, so I also shot how I tried the scarf, like a little mini tutorial. I feel like a little Technicolor Red Riding Hood. Anyway, I am off to the city. I've got to go pick up my contacts. Lee, like the bill for it was nearly as much as what the camera cost. Side is I'm seeing a, a friend from school, like from my hometown. Actually, I, like I needed it. I've been waiting all day to leave the house. I was so like anxious and just like frustrated myself this morning. I did my makeup and I'm over it. I'm over it now. I'm like, give me all of the waterline eyeliner and bathe me in glitter. New York's identity is so like tethered to this, even though this is like the least interesting pleasant part of the city. Winter Village in Bryant Park is open. Not much of a Christmas market girl, but stick the head in there. I feel like this is always the nicest time of the evening. Okay, that's enough for me. I did successfully pick up my contacts. T2 film camera on the button right before they closed. Guys, the cost of this repair honestly broke my heart. I paid like 8.50 for this camera. It cost me 500 to fix it. Surrounded by beautiful brownstones, which can only mean that I am in the affluent neighborhood of, where am I? In Greenwich, in West. Anyway, I'm heading to West Village. And then we might get cocktails at LB afterwards, which is kind of like, it's almost like a speakeasy in that like you'd walk past it, but it's a really good cocktail bar. Kettle is on. Chaos. Chaos. I'm gonna make the $7 Wagyu beef. For $7.99, I don't expect it to be mind blowing, but it doesn't have to be like the best food in my opinion is just cheap food. Fridge <laughs> is kind of looking a bit bare but I've got some spring onions, some cucumbers, an egg and some instant ramen which is kind of a luxury. I don't allow myself that often because no I just feel like <laughs> instant ramen doesn't have I don't know, a feel good nutritional factor. As the Asian that I am I must always have at least five packets up in the cupboard just in case. I think I had so much of it as like a kid and a teenager and I just felt like I was in the mood for a kind of a brothy, quick noodle situation. I love a boiled egg in a ramen situation but what I do to save some time and some mess is I just like crack the egg into the broth. I kind of have a poached egg in there instead so it's not pretty but it is very practical and I just love the umami that like a runny egg gives. All right, poachies in there. Guys, I think we might have knocked this one out of the park. This might be a new go-to. I'm just throwing some coconut aminos on there. Do my Instagram because me fella's gonna flip when he sees a picture of this. Long distance things, you know? Anyone is wondering what successful long distance communication is like, it's sending every minute detail of your day to your other half. Make each other feel involved, you know? Ooh, just runny enough. Let's taste a little bit. I can't have everything on this little bite here. Oh my God, that is so good. As usual, it ain't the prettiest, but I got my little side salad. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this episode of uh, quick five minute dinners with Tara featuring Wagyu beef. I can't believe for the very last time this year I'm about to say this. Shout out to our very Facebook partners for the last few years, Squarespace, who have been bringing you these videos at least once a month, every single month. If 2023 is the year that you finally have decided to create your little space of the internet online, whether it be that blog, that e-com shop, or that online portfolio of your work, whatever you need, website-wise, Squarespace has you covered. It's also to the week one year since I launched loversunday.com, my e-commerce 
e-commerce shop for my passion project on Squarespace. So a year of Lover Sunday sales of merch, clothing, prints, hats, bags, you name it. It's been incredibly fulfilling and stimulating working on that sign project. You can hope for a better website than Squarespace. Their 24 seven support team was always there to help. Not that I needed much because the whole point is that you don't have to be a professional. You can design the website very easily yourself. You guys know the drill. If you would like to play around and tinker with a potential website, you can use my two week free trial at squarespace.com slash termer. And if you ever decide to push your website live, you can get 10% off your future billing with code termer. Back in our jammy with our hot water baths. Guys, we made it. This is the last video of the year. Video to see us into the new year as well. Prepped. Leave for Ireland tomorrow. I should already be there in your guys' time. Just excited. Like it's been one of my favorite run up to Christmases given everything that's happened in the past few years in a really long time. Really tried to take every opportunity this month to hang out with people that wanted to hang and get dinner. I just wanted to say Thank you for sticking around this year. There's so many of you who have commented on every single one of my videos that I've posted and even the people that don't comment. I can feel it in spirit. <laughs> Something just very comforting about YouTube and it's the platform that I always come back to and that I feel like a lot of people are going to eventually come back to as well. I think I feel like there's always gonna be a place for long form video. And I think that once our attention spans kind of get sick of the shorter stuff, they'll come back and join us, you know? For you guys to be able to see me in my best year, the best year I've ever had, the most me I've ever felt, the most authentic I've ever felt. Just being around for a year that I'm really, really proud of as a, as a human being. So pat on the back for you because I know that very similarly to my journey of growth that I've been sharing, it has been a shared experience and I can feel the energy of us going through a lot of these things together, a lot of things that women or people in general between like 27 32 35 go through much of those pivotal kind of like milestones and experiences in the hopes that you don't feel alone in the hopes that i don't feel alone that is definitely the kind of community and legacy i want to leave behind so yeah thank you all um for giving me this little space and platform on the internet for sticking by me and my partnerships and things that like allow me to basically do this full time because it truly it does feel like something i'm meant to be doing thank you so much happy new year um even if it's a rough one trust me i've been there not all of them are great so i'm thinking about you guys too everyone just going through it or is highly triggered around the holiday season i think let's just send some love to each other in the comments if you have that extra love to give this year i think energetically maybe we could pay it forward this year for the ones that aren't doing so great so if you're in the mood to get a little head start on the new year. I'm gonna leave this little template that I found below. I'll just help you articulate some goals in different uh, themes and aspects of life because I truly do believe in the power of writing things down, vision boards. I also think it's nice to kind of dive in head first before the year even starts and just kind of get clear on what you want. Anyway, I will see you all in the new year with a new video. From me to you, thank you. I love you, happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the new year. Bye. <laughs>